okay so in today's lecture we are going to continue our discussion on multiples and I'll be covering the properties of multiple multiples so the first property of a multiple says that every multiple of a number is greater than or equal to that number now in order to understand this let us write a multiple I mean take a number and write a few multiples of that number so let's say that we take a number 6 and now we want to write down the multiples of that number so uh, what are the multiples of numbers so uh, what I can write is when 6 multiplied by 1 gives me 6 6 multiplied by 2 gives me 12 and similarly I will now not write the multiplication rather we will straight away focus on the multiples so it's 18 24 30 and so on you can just keep on going on that now what this rule says here that what what is the minimum multiple that we can have for a number and that would be when we multiply with the number itself by 1 that is if you see this multiplication here we have multiplied 6 by 1 and that is when we get 6 if you see all the other multiples that is 12 18 24 and 30 all these multiples they are greater than that number they are greater than this number 6 so that is this is what our observation says that every multiple of a number is greater than or equal to that number now the second rule says that the number of multiples of a given number are finite now what do we mean by this word finite here finite means that you can kind of count these numbers so when I say if we take the example above here so when you say 6 right then the multiples of it will be in steps of 6 that is 6 12 18 24 you can go on there will be huge set of numbers but still they are a small part of the huge set of numbers and in that context we say that these numbers are finite that is the number of multiples of a given number are finite and every number is a multiple of itself and that again follows from the first example here that is if we take the number 6 then we have 6 multiplied by 1 that is you can always a number will always be a multiple of itself when we multiply it by 1 and that is where this observation about multiples so these are the quick three observations about multiples let us now understand the concept of perfect numbers now before I go into this definition and describe you what it means let me just give you an example let us say that we have the number 6 and I'm interested in finding out the factors for this number so how do I go about finding the factors? so I'll start with the minimum number so I have 1 multiplied by 6 gives me 6 okay what else I can also write the reverse thing that is 6 multiplied by 1 also gives me 6 now what other multiplication would give me 6 it would be 2 multiplied by 3 similarly I can also write that 3 multiplied by 2 gives me 6 is there any other combination that I can write which will give me 6 no so now from these products we see what is the unique number or what are the unique numbers here so we see that the unique numbers in this case are 1 2 3 and 6 now let us do one thing let us add let us add these factors right so the sum of these factors that is 1 plus 2 plus 3 plus 6 what does it equal so this is, this is 6 and 6 so this amounts to 12 okay so this is 12 and this is 6 so do we see any relation between the number 6 and 12 
well the obvious thing that would come to your mind and which is simple is that it is simply a multiplied by 2 so what has happened here is that the sum of factors okay the sum of factors is twice the number okay so it's like 2 multiplied by the number gives us the sum of the factors right is it possible for us to find out another example so let us take another number let us say 28 now let us try to find out the factors for 28 so factors for 28 so what are the factors so let's say obviously 1 into 28 and 28 multiplied by 1 other is 2 when multiplied by 14 would give me 28 and similarly I can write it the other way around what else yes we also have 4 multiplied by 7 or 7 multiplied by 4 that gives me 28 is there any other combination that we can think of mm, yes I think it covers most of these so the factors for 28 number 28 they are 1 2 4 7 14 and 28 now let us again add these factors as we did in the earlier example when we add these factors that is 1 plus 2 plus 4 plus 7 plus 14 plus 28 simplifying this it becomes 14 2 and 1 3 plus 4 4 and uh, 7 4 plus 7 yeah 7 and 7 is 14 then we have another 14 and then we have 28 so which is like 28 plus 28 or finally it amounts to 56 now do we again see any relation between this and the number 28 again you would observe here that this is multiply by 2 56 is 2 times right so what we saw is that we have a number we find out its factors and then we add the factors and what we find is that the sum of these factors is twice the number for which we have found out the factors now these type of numbers are termed as perfect numbers so just to reiterate the definition a number for which the sum of all its factors is equal to twice the number is called a perfect number so this concludes our discussion on the topic of factors and multiples See you in the next session when we'll be discussing about the prime numbers.